और इस बीच आपको बता दें मुकेश अंबानी मार्क जुगरबर्ग से बातचीत कर रहे हैं What role do you see uh, technology playing in this post-COVID world, especially as it relates to all of these small businesses that I know uh, you, you share a passion with me that that it, it is just critical that we serve them? Absolutely, Mark. And let me point out a very unique feature about our partnership. Perhaps not many people have understood this. because before this partnership right i believe that each one of us was mainly a communication platform together we now have become a value creation platform for our customers and small businesses and i firmly believe that technology with all the digitization steps that india has taken will democratize wealth and value creation right for individuals and small businesses and let me explain this very simply whatsapp has hundreds of millions of subscribers in india jio has hundreds of millions of subscribers in india jio mart which is our uh, retail service right actually has the aspiration of serving tens of millions of small shopkeepers in india who are the bedrock of employment so what does this mean this means jio brings digital connectivity whatsapp now with whatsapp pay brings digital interactivity and the ability to move to close transactions and create value and jio mart brings the unmatched online and offline retail opportunity that gives our small shops which exist in villages and small towns in india a chance to digitize and be at par with anybody else in the world to my mind more wealth creation means more employment more business and we together and our platforms and the tools that we will provide to small businesses and to individual consumers i believe will drive india to a 5 trillion economy and will make a much more equal india with more equal wealth growth at the bottom of the pyramid you know mark i firmly believe that the next two decades india will grow to be among the top 3 economies in the world but more importantly it will become a premier digital society it will be a modern society with young people driving it with young businesses driving it and our per capita income will go from 1800 2000 $2, per capita to 5000 $2, per capita our mid income or the middle class in india which is about 50% of its total number of households will grow to 3 to 4% and i think that uh, facebook jio and a lot of other companies and entrepreneurs in the world have a golden opportunity to be in india to be part of this economic and social transformation that is that we are witnessing and that will accelerate in the coming decades i completely agree um and your company has already done so much to help fuel this um reliance of course brought about 4g revolution in india um and i know that 5g now is another big focus for you um but what your company has done i hear i think has been truly remarkable and helping to bring hundreds of millions of people onto the internet and and bringing opportunity and i'm curious if you look ahead uh to the future in india um what other technologies or developments are you excited about now and wh- where do you see uh the country in the next 5 to 10 years well as i mentioned to you uh, mark uh i i really see india accelerating as a premier uh, digital society uh i see us uh, integrating both 5g and just yesterday our prime minister has said that uh, he wants every village 
and every gram panchayat. India has 680,000 villages and uh, we have a population of 1.3 billion people. And he wants everybody to be empowered on the information highway with uh, high speed uh, fixed broadband, and which, which is uh, happening. Uh, we also think that compute and very low latency compute is real, right? I think that there is a great opportunity for really bringing education and healthcare with the second generation reforms that were done in the last six months, right? We have a unique opportunity in terms of, and as GEO, uh, we are connecting all the 1.9 million schools in India and the 58,000 universities at any point in time we will have in the coming decades about 200 million children or young adults between the age of 3 and 18 in our education system. And I think that in a span of 10 years, right, we can set for ourselves an objective really to reskill India and the talent that you talked about, right, can improve 10x, right? Today, you're just seeing the creamy layer, but uh, that's what technology can do to really make a better India and a better world. The same thing we can do in health and uh, all the emerging technology and integrations where we can make sure that we deliver uh, services uh, and we deliver good proactive health. We've learned that and I think we are going to use technology. Uh, we are working very closely with all the authorities to make sure that we provide the technology tools and backbone for even vaccination in the coming quarters, right? Uh, using technology. So I think health, education, uh, we've already, uh, and I think that what India has done is uh, in a sense, uh, we have democratized uh, value creation with the drive of our prime minister. And uh, you can see it in payments, you would see it in terms of uh, making sure that uh, you know, technology is easily available and we made it affordable so that millions of millions of people, even at this lower per capita basis, can use this in a large market. And uh, with that, finally, I really see the enterprise and the enthusiasm of young Indians and young, the aspirations of young Indians and their confidence, right? That is really driving India. And that is why I think that the next two decades are going to be historic in terms of the social and economic transformation. Uh, that, that makes sense. I mean, it, and you, 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 of course, already talked about um, commerce and driving small business and entrepreneurship. And, um, you know, it, it always blows me away that India has more than 60 million small businesses and, um, you know, millions of people around the country who rely on them for jobs. And, that's a big part of what I hope that our partnership can serve here. We support uh, more than 50 million WhatsApp business app users globally every month um, already. Um, and more than 15 million of these are in India. Um, so, you know, with, with communities around the world now in lockdown, uh, there are a lot of these entrepreneurs who need digital tools that they can rely on to find and communicate with, with customers and grow their businesses. And you now this is just something that I think that our partnership um, can, can really help with. And, and of course, beyond the impact on small businesses, um, I just think that this year has reminded us of, of how um, essential technology can be as a tool for, for people to just connect with each other, you know, whether it's using the, the networks that your companies have established um, or the tools that, uh, that, that we've built um, to be able to uh, have that human connection and, and find important information. And um, you know, as you said, you know, I can't imagine you know, going through the pandemic um, 10 years ago, but but if we two decades ago, but when the internet was still nascent, um, it just would have been a completely different experience. And um, technology, of course, is allowing us to 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 um, to make sure that we can get um, accurate information out to people. Um, that has implications in health, like you're talking about, um, in education and helping um, serve people better. And um, and and I think it, it shows a lot of the promise. Uh, for, for what's ahead. And I think we've certainly fared better now uh, than we would have if the pandemic had hit us before. I, I couldn't agree more, uh, Mark. You know, I know, um, you know, going back to 
to, to reliance. Um, you know, one of the, the, the great business stories in, in history, you know, your father founded Reliance Industries, and he has just this incredible legacy um, here in India. And now I've read that, that he once um, held up a postcard in his office and said, if every Indian uh, could speak with each other at the cost of this postcard, where will India be? And you now your father clearly had a vision for where um, things were heading in the country. Um, and because today Indians can communicate with one another for less than the, the cost of a postcard. Um, and that's what we've tried to do with, um, with, with, with messaging. And hopefully we can do that together with payments and, and make it so that people can you know, use India's um, new UPI system, which I think is just, is just great. It's a, it's a tremendous public good um, that the government has, has put out there. Um, but, but I'm curious, before we get into to, to UPI and, and more on that, um, I'm curious, what's the most important thing that you learned um, from your father and his legacy that has helped you build uh, these, these just amazing businesses and, and get to, to where they are today? So, Mark, uh, thank you for those kind words on my father, right? Uh, just so that when he motivated us in 2000 in terms of saying, can you make uh, voice at the co cost of a postcard, right? In 2020, right? Uh, we're very proud that uh, Geo has pioneered free voice. So all like our 400 million people, and that's a tribute to his vision, uh, are on our network have uh, have free voice. And uh, uh, as uh, you said, uh, my father like was a son of a school teacher. Right? Uh, uh, he came to Mumbai with just a thousand rupees in 1960 and uh, established a reliance with a belief that I will invest in businesses of the future and I will invest in talent. And uh, for all the young people at Reliance and across India, I repeat like my learnings in terms of building Reliance, uh, in terms of really three basic tenets, right? One is uh, for entrepreneurs, uh, it's important to have courage and self-belief. And uh, there can be no better person to demonstrate that in the last couple of decades than you yourself, Mark. So, you know, all of us uh, believe that, uh, you know, we have to believe in ourselves, right? And uh, all of us know as entrepreneurs that we don't succeed at the first attempt. And self-belief comes to you when you fail and self-belief increases your confidence when you succeed. So courage and self-belief uh, is something that I always tell entrepreneurs that remember uh, that that's important. The second piece that he started like, and he's instilled into all of us, right? Is that while you succeed, it's important to always have empathy and creativity in uh, everything that you do. And uh, by empathy, I mean, put yourself in the other's shoe and make sure that uh, how you make them feel is how you would want to feel. And, uh, you know, at uh, Reliance, we do that at many levels now. We care for our employees, our investors, society, environment, and above all, uh, national interest, uh, India. And uh, you know, within creativity, and I always give this example in terms of saying that when Reliance needed to grow, right, uh, capital markets were not there, it was 1980s. And uh, my father came up by saying, I will actually share shares of Reliance, which was never done in the private sector. And uh, uh, in the 80s, right, he, the first AGM of Reliance was in a football ground. And we had uh, 60,000 shareholders. So his, uh, and you and I both do annual general meetings, and his AGM in the 1980s for Reliance was in a football ground. And he said, my purpose is really to win investors confidence and that and you know since then like there is so 
creativity and empathy are are critical as you go along and the final thing that i have learned from my father is really the importance of uh, relationship trust and loyalty the whole of reliance right now we are hundreds of thousands of people is one big family we are not related by birth but we are really woven together by passion purpose and conviction right we have faith in one another we are loyal to one another of this large reliance family and for us it's always uh, one for all and all for one and i hope that you know uh, a lot of people around the world can relate to this uh, that's what we believe uh, at reliance and uh, you know for all of us at reliance he will still be the founder and uh, if we follow his vision in terms of investing in businesses of the future mark that brings me to now uh, my questions uh, for you uh, mark what made you believe in india and the geo story as i said that you have uh, uh, started this fdi avalanche in india and you were the world recognized when uh, facebook and mark zuckerberg in the middle of lockdown said i am going to bet on india and i am going to make even in this uncertain times right one of the largest foreign direct investments in india and what do you think uh, of the digital network that uh, you are clearly like and i call you the architect of the digital network of the world like like while i have built some connectivity and broadband connectivity in india you've done that for the world uh, that has uh, you know and please share with us your experience of as the digital architect of the world how uh, your uh, global facebook has uh, helped people uh, in this crisis and your perspective of the crisis and where uh, where you see the world today and where it is going after you just explain to us uh, india your your words are incredibly generous I and mean, we i started this to, to help give people a, a tool to stay connected with their friends um and then expand to friends and family and communities and um a lot of this has just been that uh, that ends up being a universal human phenomenon no matter what country you're in um you know everyone cares about their friends and family and in their communities and wants to stay connected and what we've seen is that india is actually home to the largest communities in the world across facebook and whatsapp and and getting there on instagram um as well and it's just so we see the the um the vitality and the entrepreneurship and the creativity of of businesses and and how much people want to connect and um and and you see um a, a tremendous number of people coming online a lot of that thanks to your investments and and the work that you've done to enable hundreds of millions of people to come online here um and i just see a very promising future in india um you know we talked briefly about how uh there's a a big trend of financial inclusion ahead and um तो रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड के सीईओ मुकेश अंबानी और फेसबुक के सीईओ मार्क जुगरबर्ग के बीच जियो मार्ट को लेकर चर्चा हो रही थी